Okay, David Christopher, it's been great to have you back at a life change and be ready and prepared next expo. It's been wonderful to be here. Thank you. Have you seen any differences between our first expo and our second one? More people here. Great. Great. How has the interaction been at your booth? Uh, people coming to this expo have been great. You know, I, I think it's one of the best ones we do. Good. You know, one comment that your son made to me after the first expo that I, I thought was really interesting, he said, Compared to other regions, I guess, you guys do a lot of expos, you travel, you're from, you know, Utah, but he said the people in Florida, for whatever reason, were really engaging. Did you find that true this weekend, oh, too? Oh, yes, yes. Yes. Yeah, um, the other ones tend to be a little more superficial, and, and yeah, the ones here were ready to learn and uh, grateful for the knowledge and, and uh, do something about it. Right. And you know what I like to say is that's what we're about too. Um, Mark here, I've, he's probably heard me say it many times now, but our, really our mission is to educate and to train people. And so that's why we love having people like yourself here because that's what you really that's do. That's what I do, me too. Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. and that's what it's all about. And we're not about any kind of knee-jerk reaction to any event or anything. Um, of course those can happen, but what we're really about is the, the lifestyle change, the journey of self-reliance and taking control. And your area is one that I personally, about a year ago, felt like we as a family, our, our immediate family was weak on, and I'm leading that aspect of it, is the medical, you know, alternative to modern medicine. And so I've taken up um, learning, going through your school, you know, not as a fast paced as I would like to, but I'm doing that along with the essential oils, which we have covered here too. But Mark, do you have a couple of questions for David? Yes, David. Um, if uh, for any reason that uh, pharmaceuticals were no longer available, what would Yay. be... Yay! <laughs> <laughs> what a glorious day, huh? Mm -hmm. um, uh, what would be the three things that uh, a person could do now that's just getting started out to prepare for that day, or to transition to that well, day. You know, our first aid herb is cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper stops bleeding. Cayenne pepper will stop a heart attack. Cayenne pepper will um, do just about anything you need in first aid. It's, it's the first aid herb. Uh, someone going into shock, you give them some cayenne, they won't dare go into shock after that. I mean, it's, it's the stimulant, you know, so yeah. Uh, you name it, the uh, cayenne pepper is the first aid herb. Um, and as far as stopping bleeding is concerned, you know, uh, you try it by just, if you have a bloody nose, just take some cayenne. If that doesn't do it, then blow your nose, snuff it up your nose, and it's gone. There's no more bleeding. And uh, we, we had this, this one uh, student, we just really thought it was great about it stops bleeding. And he went and gave a class and didn't even know, had never used it before, and gave a class on it. And one of his students was like, wow, that is so exciting. So he, he goes home and he tells his dad, he goes, we learned that cayenne pepper stops bleeding. We should have over and now we could have saved lives. And dad goes, yeah, sure, right. Yeah. He goes, okay, let's see. He cuts his arm, starts bleeding profusely. And uh, he'd never been told exactly how to use it. You know, so he sprinkled some cayenne on it. Of course it didn't stop bleeding, he just kept bleeding. You know? So his dad goes, we're to get you to the hospital. He goes, no, this guy said it was going to stop bleeding, and it's going to stop bleeding. So he grabs a handful, and presses it into it, and holds it, you know, and it stopped bleeding. The dad goes, you could have done that with dirt. You just clogged it up. He goes, well, let's see. He goes over the sink, and he washes it all out, and it wouldn't start bleeding again. It stopped wow. bleeding. Mm -hmm. So cayenne stops bleeding. It stops a heart attack. My dad never lost a heart attack patient by giving him cayenne pepper. You know, everybody else just says, what do we do, what do we do, wait for, you know, the ambulance to get there. You give them some cayenne pepper, and then when the ambulance gets there, it's over. They can test them, they have a heart attack, but guess what? Got over it. So cayenne pepper is our first day here. That's number one. You use that. Um, uh, what's, what's when you get cold, uh, hypothermia? Yes. Worst thing, you can just put a blanket around them. They're cold inside. You're just going to do the refrigerator effect. You heat up the inside. Nothing better than swallowing a furnace. I mean, it starts at 40,000 heat units, and they go up to like 300,000 heat units, you know. Uh, how that's how hot they can be, but you take a 40,000 heat, that's like swallowing a furnace. And they get over hypothermia, just like that. So yeah, cayenne is our first aid herb. As far as our uh, antibiotic herb, it's garlic. 
four cloves of garlic is equal to an adult dose of penicillin, you know, or any other antibiotic. But it doesn't destroy the flora in your intestinal tract. Mm -hmm. So, so even if they still had pharmaceuticals, you still want to do garlic instead because it works. It works without compromising everything else. You know, you've got six pounds of friendly flora in your intestinal tract, and it wipes it all out. But it's not just that it wipes out trillions of friendly flora, which helps you get nutrients into your system. The, the biggest thing is, is there's 400 different varieties. And so they wipe it out, and then they give you acid off this back. I can do the math. You give one back, you just lost 399. And you know, like one of those flora, you, it eats your mucus, and then it excretes vitamin B12. That's why B12 is not uh, a lot in, the, in the food system a lot, because you make it. Unless you took an antibiotic, then you can't make it anymore. That's why people vitamin B deficient, B12 deficient, is because they took an antibiotic. And they wiped out that ability to make that. So, cayenne, garlic, anything like that. You know, garlic's the thing we use. Viruses, bacteria, parasites, you know. So those two herbs for sure. And then a healing herb would be comfort, which the FDA tries to ban. But it's the, the most healing plant out there. We've seen miracles with uh, comfort. But, uh, and, you know, and the burn paste, you know, uh, one of the worst things you can do if you get burned is go to a burn clinic. Talk about torture, you know? Uh, especially in children's ward when they've had a burn and they're, they're, they're scraping the skin off and stuff. It's just like torture. With the herbs, you put the herbs on, it dissolves all the bad tissue, redoes re your tissue, and you never have to scrape anything off. They work really well. So what we do is we take honey and comfrey, mix them together, and uh, put them on as a paste. And wheat germ oil that helps too. So we do wheat germ oil, honey, comfrey, put a paste on, you know, heals the burn. You don't have to go through all that torture that you do with the scraping all the skin off and you know, pulling it off. And you don't have scarring. And you just find any, any burn clinic that can tell you they won't have scarring. Yours work better than their stuff anyway. Very cool. And they're cheaper. Very cool. You can grow them yourself. What would be the dosage for, for uh, garlic? If you had, let's say I had a uh, throat infection, uh, like struck, uh, would I take it four cloves three times a day for 10 days? Would I take it like a, like a antibiotic? Since strip is so close, then what we do is we take a tablespoon of honey, okay. take four cloves of garlic, press it into a plate, you know, okay. let it sit there, and then you take a uh, quarter teaspoon of cayenne mixed in the honey, okay. and then you take the garlic that's been sitting there for about 10 minutes, you can, uh, allow the allicin to be created, it's created when you, when you crush it. You put that into your honey and cayenne, okay. and then you take that down like a half a teaspoon of that every half hour, don't wash it down, okay. and then it coats the throat, the cayenne is a rubifacin, it brings blood into the area, brings the immune system into play, the garlic stimulates the immune system, and the garlic is also antibiotic, and you get rid of the struck usually within 24 hours. Really? Isn't that amazing? That's amazing. They can't hardly test for it within 24 hours. They have one test that they're, it's iffy, you know, but the, the real true test takes about 24 hours. So we can get rid of it before they can even test for it. That's amazing. I was asking him earlier if I could come out for a week. I, I need a week of this and just learn it, learn it, learn it, learn it, learn it. But, you know, when, one of the first things I ever read that you put out, well, your dad's book and the journeys that your dad, it, amazing stories. I mean, just amazing. And so you have lived this. Your dad lived it and practiced it. You saw it. Sure. Now I see your kids involved in the, the business aspect of it and living it too. Mm -hmm. Can you comment on how, um, how do you think your family's medical situation? None of them are on drugs. Yeah. You know, and it's really interesting. Uh, you get to be about seven years old, the average amount of drugs that a seven year old is taking, what is it, nine? I don't know. Nine, yeah, 11, I'm sure it's, yeah. on that many drugs. Yeah. You know, and, and people I know, they'll go in for a checkup at 70 something years old and they'll say, what drug are you on? And they'll go, none. No, which drugs do you on? Like, none. I was just down in Brazil and this, uh, this, this woman, uh, she's 90 years old, you know, and she's uh, on, I don't know, she opened up that, that drawer and it's like so many different drugs, you know. And, you know, they'd, they'd probably say, so you kept her alive to be 90. Her mom was in her 90s, never took a drug. 
you know. And I remember when I was down there uh, visiting before, and, and uh, they were all a little bit younger, and her mom was out there in her late 80s scrubbing the sidewalk. You know, and I'm going, what's she scrubbing the sidewalk for, you know? She needs something to do. Down on her hands and knees, this gal can hardly get in and out of a car. So yeah, she's in her 90s, but her mom did much Lived better than life. her. Lived a life, yeah. taking right. stupid drugs. Right. Yeah. I understand. Quality of life, mm -hmm. yeah. Right. Well, there's a lot more that we can learn. And we sure appreciate you being here again. And I highly recommend anybody to go through your, your course. And you're offering a special right now for our event attendees, so. Yeah, uh, what, what we have is a, our first level of 22 levels. And that one level, if you take it, you'll know more than any doctor knows about taking care of your family. When you take that level, uh, it's a $495 course, but we put it online, which saved us money, yeah. a lot of money. Yeah. So we, we made it $295, and at the shows, we do it for 100 Great. Well, we appreciate you being here again. Sure. We hope you'll come back for future life changes. Be ready. Yeah, we I hope know. you're a regular of our event because we certainly enjoy having you and your family here. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Sure.